what another beautiful morning here in Kyrgyzstan. We're heading back to uh, Karakal today via that mountain pass. It's gonna be kind of serious, so I'm gonna get some breakfast, get packed up, and then we'll hit the trails. And so the uphill climb begins. Uh, apparently it's an 800 meter ascent and it's really steep. From down here you probably can't tell. So I'm gonna show you a video clip from yesterday, a freeze frame of video clip from yesterday. We're camped down at the river and that patch of snow, that's the path we're crossing. So it's a pretty serious climb this morning and gonna take it slow and steady and probably gonna have some pretty phenomenal views from the top and I'm sure it'll be worth it. So let's get moving. Current status, just over halfway. Feeling pretty strong. One minute and the next minute I feel like I'm dying. <laughs> but regardless, beautiful scenery, a bit of a trail here so it's easier to walk and we're getting there. <laughs> Made it to the top of the pass. Absolutely crushed. Whew. Time for a bit of a break. I think I deserve that one. Woo! And time to start our descent towards the end of our trek. It's about eight kilometers total, and we've got 1,200 kilometers drop coming up, so some kilometers to cover. Made it down a pretty heavy descent, and now we're stopping for lunch with another just like phenomenal view. And I'm so hungry. We made it to the end of our trek, and since we were like an hour ahead of our transport getting down, we had like the option to go to a hot spring just up there, or hike an extra kilometer or two down here, and there's like a fresh cold water spring there. So we're gonna cool off here, and then uh, jump in our transport back down to town, and I guess I'll check into you guys once I get back into town with some final thoughts.
So I'm down now. It's actually tomorrow. Uh, I'm in the village of Jergalan now. I've had the day to kind of refresh, um, recharge batteries, and I'm here in Jergalan, which is like, I mean, this place is rural, uh, a rural village here in uh, Kyrgyzstan, and it's really kind of cool. We're at the edge of the mountains, and this is kind of like the heart of trekking here as well as Karakul, as a lot of big treks leave. And I just want to end this video with like a bit of a walk and talk maybe out in this pasture with some cows. So goal of this walk and talk is to walk and talk to you guys without stepping in cow poop. That would be fantastic because I'm just wearing flip-flops in this field. So I guess I just want to say a couple things before I end this. First of all, that road down from Arashan was insane. I think that was the gnarliest road I've ever been on in my entire life. It was just crazy and I think there's a cow trying to attack me. Nope, nope, he's just, just finding more grass. Oh, in a stand down with a cow. Okay, the cow is cool. He's my friend now. The road down from Arashan was insane. Absolutely gnarly. That's the wildest road I've ever been on in my entire life on a vehicle that wasn't like an ATV, an all-terrain vehicle. It was absolutely insane, insane. Secondly, I mentioned in the video a couple days ago that the trek I was on was completely like undeveloped. And it was, and it was awesome. And my guide was unreal. Shout out to Alexander, dude was just on point. Even though he'd never done that specific route, he knew everything in the area and was just like complete professional. And I think on top of everything, the most important thing is that I think he was just as excited for the trek as I was. And it's always really cool to see that. That specific trek I did was Jergez to Aksu to Arashan. And if you ever want to do a trek like that in Kyrgyzstan, it's not hard to organize, nor is it super expensive. And if you want to do it, get in touch with the people at Destination Caracol. They're a nonprofit organization. They can organize stuff like that. There was an eco trekking company that hooked everything up and it was, it was fantastic. It was so good. But I don't want to make it seem like nobody treks or nobody goes hiking in Kyrgyzstan. Hiking in Kyrgyzstan is huge and there's a ton of hikers in Kyrgyzstan right now. Especially it seems like Israelis and French tourists, just tons of them. In Arashan, when we left, there was a lot of hikers. The gorge we were a couple days ago, there was a lot of hikers. So if you want to hike independently, or if you want to hike places where there's lots of other hikers, there is a ton of opportunity for you to do that here in Kyrgyzstan. So I don't want to make it seem like you need to go with two porters, a guide, and a cook if you want to go trekking here in Kyrgyzstan. The coolest thing about hiking in Kyrgyzstan is it's completely wide open and free. Right now, if I wanted to, I could take my backpack and just go climb into those hills. It's really wild and free like that, and it's that nomad lifestyle that I absolutely love. I really think you could have just put me in those mountains for a week with my camera gear and some food, and I would have just loved life, and it would have been fantastic. Now, as I mentioned, I'm here in Jergalan. This is also a place where a lot of trekkers head off. It's not a big city like Karakol, as you've seen. It's just a tiny little village on the edge of the mountains. And tomorrow, I'm starting another trek, another three-day trek. Um, I'm not actually sure where I'm going, like the last time, but I'm sure that it's gonna be amazing like the last time. So I hope you guys stay tuned to the channel. The trekking has been unreal. I think the photography from the last couple days um, has just been perfect, spot on. I'm really happy about how things have been going on that regard as well. And I'm super stoked to be here in Jergaland for this trek. So I'll see you guys on the next episode tomorrow. I want to see tomorrow's episode, but guys, there's no internet here. I have no data, so I don't know when the vlogs are getting online. I'll see you next episode, the next vlog. I'll catch you there. Peace.